what's this on my workbench here? Looks like some kind of boxy thing. Hmm. It says plug me into a USB port on your computer and open card. Got pinouts here for USB ports. Hey, there's nothing inside. Well, let's plug it in, see what happens. Wow! That's pretty cool. Welcome to hack number 38, the USB powered Christmas card. This is a Christmas card I made based on a 555 timer circuit and a bunch of LEDs and some paper craft. So follow along now and we'll build this thing together. Let's look at the schematic. This is a 555 in a stable mode and it's got a 0 0.01 microfarad decoupling cap across the power supply. The power comes from the USB cable and uh, pin 1 on the USB cable is the positive and pin 4 on the USB cable is negative and they connect positive and negative. Negative is the ground for the circuit and the positive comes in goes to pin 8, negative goes to pin 1, 1.2K between 8 and 7, another 1.2K resistor between 7 and 6, 6 and 2 connected together, then we have a 220 microfarad capacitor that goes between pin 6 and ground. The output that makes the LEDs flash is on pin 3. Now when pin 3 is outputting positive it will get connected to these two LEDs here. I'll explain more about that in a minute. And one of them will light up depending on which way it's connected. So pin 3 serves two functions in this circuit. When it's uh, positive, it will light up the green LEDs because this is the positive side of the LED. This is the negative side of the LED. So the green ones get connected to ground on the negative side. And the positive lead goes to pin 3 and the red LEDs also go to pin 3 but you will put the negative side to pin 3 and the positive side to voltage which would be this voltage rail right here so what that does is when pin 3 goes high and turns on the green LED will light up when it goes low it goes to ground and then the red LED will light up and that's what causes the LEDs to flash back and forth alternating so there's the schematic Okay, let's plug it in, see what we get. Ah, look at that. Five volts off from the USB, and it is a working. Cool. Let's get building the actual card now. Well, I got the circuit all done and tested, as you saw. So now it's time to get crafty and make the actual card itself which will basically be like a box. Two little box halves that go one inside the other. That's the bottom half that will get cut out, folded up, and uh, stuck together on the corners to make the bottom half of the box. And the LEDs for the Christmas tree that will flash from the 555 will go in here. The green ones will be on the outside of the tree, and the red ones will be like the uh, lights on the tree. I'll put the circuit board right here, run the USB cable out the side. This is the top of the box and it gets folded up like a box. It will go over the bottom and then you'll see a blank uh, page when you open it up until you plug it in of course to the USB power and then the lights come on and there will be a section where it will get backlit. The word Merry Christmas will show up backlit by LEDs and since I don't want that light to scatter all over inside the box I have a little uh, section here that will get folded up and glued to that with a couple LEDs in it. The black side will be out, the white side will be in to help diffuse the light. This is the actual cover that will go on the front of the card. I had a little fun with this. Plug me into a USB port on your computer and open card. And there are USB pinouts. So if I decide to make more of these and give it to my geek friends, they'll actually have uh, a reference for USB pinouts. How about that? So I've got my double-sided tape here ready to stick onto these little uh, tabs and I'll cut it out with my X-Acto. Let's get to work and make this USB Christmas card. Okay, let's get cutting out all of these pieces for this card. J5 
Fett here helping out. Okay, this is the last piece to cut out. Then it'll be time to fold everything up and stick it all together. There we go. Now to help these fold a little bit easier, I'm um, going to take a, this ruler. It has a rounded end, or anything with just a blunt end works okay. Put the ruler up against where the folds have to be, right on the line, and then use the, the ruler or whatever other tool you can find to uh, score the paper a little bit. It'll help fold it a little easier. You can see there. We'll do that to all the lines where the folds have to happen. Now to stick it together I'm going to use double-sided tape and I'll just tear off a little piece and stick it to this edge right here. This part of the flap, and then I'll just cut away the excess, like so. Now I have a little adhesive section right there, and I can take the other half and place it over here. Cut that off, and now I just fold my uh, tabs in like this. Bring it up there nice and tight and squeeze it together. There we go. We've got the corner connected with adhesive tape double sided. Now we gotta do that for everything until we make the parts of the box. Got the pieces stuck together box there, got the cover here, got the outside cover here which fits very nicely right over the bottom one and I've built the little light box that's got four blue LEDs in it all lined up there and they illuminate on the other side the Merry Christmas that you'll get to see when I turn it on and you get the Christmas tree lights put up. Now I'm getting down to the gluing of the LEDs to the Christmas tree here so I just bend the lead like that and then when I position it here the other two leads that are left behind from the previous install line right up positive and negative quite nicely and I can just solder them up. Alright let's glue an LED in place. A little hot glue there Push the LED down onto the leads. There we go. Now we solder them up. I'm just soldering these up in parallel. Okay, all the green ones are soldered. Let's see what we got here. Woohoo! All right, it's a Christmas tree. Let's get the red ones. All the red ones are in. Let's test them out. Let's see if they work. Yep, I got red LEDs. Okay. Time to get the circuit board in this thing. Okay, last solder joint. All right, got the uh, the five 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 nestled down in here on a tiny little perf board, USB cable connected. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Hey, look at that! We got blinky blink, and we got Merry Christmas in the front. Let's put it together.
Well, here's our little card, all built. Looks like a little box with a cover on it, and it has a USB cable. How goofy is that? Well, let's try plugging this thing in. I think we should turn the lights down so that we get the uh, optimal effect. Get it plugged into the port. Wow, it's already looking pretty cool. Look at that. Merry Christmas. It's a USB powered card. Hope you enjoyed this hack. If you want to build one of these, I'll post the schematics for the 555 timer, a stable circuit, and all the templates uh, for the paper craft part of this to build this little box. If they're in Adobe Illustrator, I'll save them as EPS files and put them on the uh, Hackaweek project page for the USB powered Christmas card. Until next time, keep on hacking.